Aside from the fact that I'm still alive. None of this surprises me. Technology got stronger. But we got weaker. We built computers. Robots. Oh, unmanned armies. And no one ever asked. What happens when the enemy steals the keys? Things they built to keep us safe are turned against us. And that's when they figured it out. They'll always need men like us. For those who are willing to do what others cannot. <laughs> Whoa, boy, what do you guys think of that crazy trailer? Now, I will be perfectly honest with you and tell you that I, for one, was very uncertain about what I'd think about Black Ops 2. Sure, I love Black Ops, but did I want another game set in that time period? Eh, not really. This, though, on the other hand, has me completely, completely stoked. Futuristic stuff. They've been talking about either Infinity Ward or Treyarch doing a futuristic Call of Duty for quite a while now. And now, this is not like, you know, the year 3000, this is 2025, but it seems like they definitely are taking it in that direction with the quadcopter flying thingamabobs and the uh, the, the walking mech-ish robots. They're, they're definitely doing something that isn't just like, oh, it's, you know, in a, in a year very close to now, World War III. It's not like that. Like, they're definitely pushing it beyond that boundary and taking it a little farther, um, which to me is super cool. Not all the way like Halo futuristic, but a nice mid-ground, I think, I think if you think strategically, this matches up nicely with Halo 4, because it's coming out November 13th, the week after Halo 4, so we got the release date as well, and, and they're going to be able to say, hey look, Halo 4 has all these sweet weapons and all this, this cool stuff, we can do that as well, and so I'm sure there'll be some unique stuff here for futuristic ish tech um that will kind of allow them to maybe maybe perhaps that was some of their strategy with this you know for this year to kind of place it against halo 4 even more directly and you know use the call of duty juggernaut of a name um to sort of propel it to victory past the title from 343 now what else did we see in the trailer we saw mr who we assume is mason as an old crazed man um we saw horses which is a complete you know you have all these futuristic robots and then you have horses which again you know look at the contradiction there that's pretty unique and had me again pretty like whoa what it's kind of like a, a oh my god moment um and then to me like the the biggest surprise besides the futuristic thing in the trailer is that they basically you know they didn't fully show they cut away but they're basically showing a plane crashing into buildings in what looks like los angeles so again that's a very touchy subject for people um and and one that yeah there's been nukes and call of duty games yeah there's been other things of kind of mass destruction and mass chaos and civilians and the airport scene from from modern warfare 2 and, and different things along those lines but has there ever been anything as as directly you know correlatable if that's a word to you know uh 9 11 into the world trade center attacks now flying a plane a futuristic plane directly into a building who knows how that goes over? They always like to push the limits with something a little bit crazy that Fox News can get really worked up about. But at the very least, I'm worked up about this game. I'm super excited. Glad that they went the futurist aggression. Are you glad? Do you think that'll be cool? Do you think that'll be not good for the series? What kind of future tech would you hope to see in the game? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you're stoked and excited for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 releasing on November 13th, 2012. I know I will probably be playing the crap out of this game, because like I said, I like Black Ops a lot more, for better or worse, than Modern Warfare 3, the unique modes, just the overall feel, it suited me better, so I'm super excited, leave a like if you're super excited, hope you're having a freaking awesome day, hope this made it just a little bit better, drink some hot chocolate, let me know in the comments below what you're excited for, what you want to see, if you think this is kind of a response to Halo 4, or something to kind of go a little bit more directly head-to-head, -head if they think Halo 4 is going to be a huge deal this year, which we know it will be, 
Call of Duty, though, always seems to come out on top. So probably going to be the same result this time. We'll have to wait and see till November. Till that time, though, guys and girls, have a fantastic day once again. Drink some hot chocolate. We will see you all later.